So today we're at Sylvia Park, we're doing a spot of shopping. We have the boyfriend who's on a mission to buy either a new suit or a waistcoat. I'm looking for a dress for a wedding and also want to pick up some basics for our glasses. So yeah, let's, let's have a look, see what's happening. So embarrassed. Like this makes me look very curvy. It has a little slit at the back. My only concern is that this is $109 and it doesn't have like a lining. It feels like nice fabric, but I'm like, is it nice enough for a hundred bucks? Shopped by my boyfriend. Look at this. Look at all these bags. No bags, but I did buy something. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> We have now come to the driving range for a bit of Sunday golf, but I haven't played golf in like two months, so this could be awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go smash some balls. Park the Jimny next to this very nice old Land Rover. It's time for the try on haul. I know you guys like these kind of videos, or at least think you like them, and you want more vlogs, and honestly I don't feel entirely comfortable vlogging so much anymore after 10 years on the internet documenting so much of my life. I actually really like having a personal life and not putting it on the internet, but I would like to find a happy balance where I can make content like this that people enjoy watching, but I can also have those personal boundaries. So hopefully you're enjoying this vlog, and I think this is the most exciting part. This is the try-on haul. This is stuff that I've collected over the past like six, seven weeks of shopping. And I never usually buy this much at once, but I cleaned out a huge amount of my wardrobe when we relocated from Wellington to Auckland. So I had some space and I just really wanted to update some of my basics and get a few more timeless, high quality pieces into my wardrobe. And also there was a sale on the Strathbury website, which you guys know is my favorite handbag brand. So I just had to buy that. Uh, and it was also my birthday, so that, is what's happened and to be honest I struggle to film these kind of like fashion videos because I don't shop like this very often and I feel like I personally just wear the same stuff over and over again but here we are let's try do this let me move my pink chair as much as I love it I feel like it's in the way for you guys there we go so let's start with the basics this glass and t-shirt is the one that I picked up yesterday and I saw this on TikTok it's meant to be a dupe of the Skims t-shirt and I went in there and was like, oh yeah, I'll just grab a medium. The medium looked tiny. And I get that the trend, this, this Skims t-shirt is meant to be like skin tight. Um, but that's not really my vibe. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I also have wider hips. So if I get a really tight t-shirt, it just bunches up at the bottom. Um, and I don't love it. So I actually went for an extra large, believe it or not. And the other t-shirt I picked up recently from Cos, another beautiful basic, and I'll just insert a cutaway here. I wore it in our last vlog, so you will have seen it there. Um, but that was also an extra large. 
I feel like everyone I watch who films these videos talks about sizing because it's kind of useful if you're ordering online and you know letting people know if they need to size up size down but I feel like everyone else is like I'm a size 6 I'm a size 8 and I'm like extra large um, but I am also for context if anyone's new around here I'm 5'11 so I am quite tall a lot of people are really surprised when they meet me in person they're like wow so for context on sizing and like length on things, I am tall. The next thing I've got on to show you are these pants. Like a moment for the pants. How fabulous. Is that a stain on my top already? Oh my gosh. Why? I love my t-shirts, but they get so dirty. We'll just tuck that in and we'll go back to the pants. So these are also from Cos. Cos is a store that I have been admiring for afar and then on my birthday I went on a little shopping trip there. So this and my striped shirt are what I got. This is a wool and cashmere blend so they are incredibly soft and I just knew that they would be so comfy and they would re wear really nicely and be able to keep them for a while. I love that they've got a bit of a stretchy back as well um, but from the front they look quite formal. I've got pockets. Um, you can kind of see in the reflection there they come to like a a good length on me but again I am quite tall so sometimes I struggle with these things. There we go you guys can see it in the reflection and while we're down there I also got some new shoes for my birthday. These are from Tommy Hilfiger. I still have the box because I haven't actually worn them yet and I got them from the Dress Mart outlet store. I highly recommend there if you want some of their shoes. Um, they're usually around like 30% off. Let me take it off to show you up front. Oops. This is the style I went for. It's very simple, like literally all white with just a Tommy on the like the tongue there and then their little logo. But I like white sneakers that don't have massive logos, that don't have like gold detailings or giant chunky soles. I just like them low cut, very simple. I'm just like awkwardly standing here in like one shoe now. Do I take the other one off? Let's take it off. Okay, I might show you the handbag next because I think it will actually go really nicely with this outfit and with these pants. You guys know I love Strathbury. I'll link some of my previous Strathbury videos down below and I did upload a YouTube short unboxing this. If you guys saw that, you got a bit of a sneaky peek. There she is! So some of you might actually recognize this kind of bag. I know my mom and some family members were like, don't you already own this bag? And I do, but I have the smaller version. So I have the, I think they call it the mini. And this is just like the standard east-west size that they do. But I am obsessed with this. Sorry, it's quite jingly for the audio. I just think it's so pretty. And because I have this in the smaller size, I know already that I love the shape. Um, that's how you open it and then it's got two compartments in there as well. I'm not going to do like a full handbag review on this, but I do really love that these can be converted into a little crossbody. I love the understated elegance. I love the fact that there's no big logos in your face. There's just a tiny little Strathberry along the bottom there. My favorite way to wear it is really just by like the top handle like this and the over the shoulder like this. Um, and again, I thought this bigger size might be too big on me, but I'm actually really enjoying it and I don't think it's too large and I think it's super versatile. The next piece is this stunning skirt, which I'm going to try on for you. This I got in the David Jones sale. It is by the brand Age. I never know how to say it. A-J-E. Previously, I have rented uh, dresses from this brand from Designer Wardrobe here in New Zealand. And the quality of these is amazing. Their fabric's always beautiful. Often they are a silk blend. This one isn't. I think this might be a linen blend. But they always have lining and they're just stunning the way that they fit you. Speaking of fit, this one is a little bit snug. Do you see how tiny that is? <laughs> but it was the last one in stock. Um, and it was like 45% off or something ridiculous. So we squeeze into it. I know this is bold. But this is my favorite way, or this has been my favorite way to wear the skirt since I first got it. Love the pockets as well. It's definitely not as like highlighted neon in person. Other ways that I have styled this is just with like a simple black tank or a black knit. Um, I am kind of going for something that flops over because as I said, it is quite tight, but I feel like as a woman, like I'm sure you guys can relate to this, sometimes we're a little bit more bloated, other times we're feeling super skinny, mini, 
and some days this is going to be a skirt where I put on and some days I'm going to be like, no Ellen, this is not zipping up, this is not fun, and then other days I'm like, yeah, I could wear this. Now I wanted to try these boots with this look because I'm still figuring out how to style these because I don't really have skinny jeans anymore. All of mine are kind of like slightly wider and they're cropped and I feel like a cropped skinny jean really doesn't work with these. So I'm still figuring it out but I think these kind of look quite nice with a skirt and a dress. These I got from an outlet store. This top by the way I forgot to mention is from Zara. It's last season. So these are from an outlet store and you can no longer buy them unfortunately but I think this is a very trendy in style at the moment. The pointed toe is super flattering, just the high quality leather. Um, I Not to make you guys incredibly jealous but I got these for $10 from an outlet. <laughs> but they were closing down so they were literally trying to clear all of their stock which is why they were so ridiculously cheap because these would be like two or three hundred dollar boots. Okay, we've switched into a black top so you guys can see the vibe here. I just think this is so my style, something that's, you know, quite bright and colourful and fun but also quite sophisticated and clean and elegant. I've popped on the black boots, if you guys can catch that in the reflection. I love these, they're like the perfect height for me. Um, they give you a little bit of elevation, make you feel quite like cool, you can strut. Uh, but also not too awful for my knees because I've got bad knees so heels are not actually a fun time for me to wear. I think this with like a, a black jacket or a black coat is an ideal winter look for me. That's still colourful, that's still flirty and fun. You can also tell I just love twirling in it. Next up we have the dress and this is in a David Jones dress bag because funny story, they were out of suits when my boyfriend bought a suit from there last year in Wellington. So they gave him a dress bag and he's absolutely hated it to this day. But he bought a new suit for himself or a new jacket um, and he got a suit bag with that. So he was like, here you go, have this dress bag. And I was like, thank you, don't mind if I do. But inside here, we have one of my other regular dresses. But the new one is the red dress you guys saw in the vlog. So I kind of ummed and art about this and in the end I decided it was a yes because of just how fabulous it made me feel and I think when you try on a dress and it just hugs you in the right places it makes you feel beautiful like that's a yes. It's not always about what's the most stylish, what's the most sexy, what's going to look good on Instagram although let's be honest I think about that a lot. But I really think it is about finding a dress for your body shape. And again, for me, this was like quite bold with the red color, but the high neckline meant for me it was, you know, a little bit more like elegant and conservative, which is definitely more my style, as you can see, like <laughs> most of the things I'm wearing, I'm like high neck. <laughs> so let's go pop this on and style it up. <laughs> totally felt like Lydia Millen there, if anyone else watches her videos, which is let's style it up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I'm obsessed with this. This looks so good, if I do say so myself. Apologies guys, I'm still getting used to the lighting in our new place and like when's the good time to film and the afternoon sun has just hit. So <laughs> don't mind this, hopefully you can still see the dress okay. I love this fabric, um, the way that it's quite slinky and kind of goes with that silk slip dress trend that we've been seeing for the past couple of seasons but it doesn't cling like the silk slip dresses. Let's see how we are going to style this. I feel like for the wedding I'll probably wear flats and it is going to be kind of cold so I might wear these, I might end up wearing stockings because the wedding is in Christchurch. But for the purpose of this video let's put on some heels. Diane Von Furstenberg heels that I bought secondhand off Trade Me probably like five years ago, six years ago. I was definitely in university. Oh my goodness, these are high. I'm just gonna lean against the wall to get this other one on. I literally just wear these for photo shoots these days. Oh my god, but I look so amazing. Why do I have to have grandma knees and I can't wear shoes like this all the time? So fabulous, right? And then remove the dust bag off this but I was thinking 
this is the moment for the YSL clutch, right? A little bit of a wedding bag. I have taken this to a wedding I went to um, last year. Could obviously pop this on the shoulder like so. My favorite personal way to wear it with the double strap. You can see that's very much my favorite way to wear all my bags. I love this little playful split with the bag. Let's take these off so I'm back in the camera frame. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed.